Let's do it, boys. You guys ready? Yep. Sing it through debrief? Yeah. Let's do it. This is the Pan Wild Podcast. Smoke him, dude. Reload. Reload. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the PN Wild Podcast, brought to you by Phelps Game Calls. Not too we blow. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how we very, kick it off. Very right subtle, here. boys. Very yeah. subtle. Well, if you haven't noticed, guys, Zach's in the house. I am back, kind of. Well, first time in this this spot. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh. Yeah. First time podcaster in the HQ. Yeah. I know. I haven't, I haven't thought about that. Yeah, man. Uh, we welcome have, we to have the studio. All, all four of us today, guys. Yes. Wow. Everyone is here. Wow. Bob, introduce yourself. You're back. Yep. Bob's back in oh, the house. Old BBP Tate. <laughs> my, uh, my fellow comrade, Patrick. Patrick Van Valkenburg in the house once again. Yep. And the uh, steady one. Yeah. The old steady. And then uh, your host here. I actually, I got a comment this week. I got to throw that in there. Okay. I got a comment yeah. this week that I have the radio voice. You yeah. You, I see people, that. people, yeah. people like my radio voice. Have you looked at the comments on the iTunes? No, I haven't. You, how many five, how many five star reviews do we have? Uh, 51. No way. Yeah. Liar. And, and 22 comments. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, very, uh, coming, guys. Speak, we're there. So we might as yeah. well thank all those folks. Exactly. Thank you very much. And, uh, if you, if you leave us a five-star review, I know that we've been doing a little random giveaways, not announced giveaways for mm. uh five-star reviews. So yeah, we, the, we should probably get to the guy that we blow to do some giveaways for our five-star listeners. Oh yeah. Talking about Phelps? Yeah. Yeah. Do you blow other ones? No. <laughs> Jason's the best. <laughs> yeah. You don't blow any other dudes? Well, Dirk, I guess no. I blow Dirk too. I like the Maverick. Never tried Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's oh, really similar. Oh, actually, right. yeah, that's good. Um, no, I think Jason. I think we could talk him into that. Yeah, I think we'll. I think we'll get Phelps on board to give yeah. away some stuff. Okay, so from here it is uh, February twenty second, two thousand and twenty. There's a lot of twos on that date. Look at that, guys. Two yeah. two 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 zero two zero. Just wait till it's twenty two twenty two. Oh my gosh. If you make it another 200 years. Oh my gosh. That'd be crazy. And then, mm. uh, it's mm. four fifty two in the PM on a Saturday. Mm. And, uh, yeah, today we are talking about the very highly anticipated seeing it through project. What was seeing it through Zach? Um, it was just like a little film that we did. Oh, it's, okay. It wasn't anything too crazy. It was just like a two hour long feature length film that we then hosted at a movie theater. Oh, okay. Um, a couple of people came, um, we gave away some stuff and, uh, it's been on our, on our YouTube channel. It was pretty cool. We killed oh. four deer. Hmm. Um, and it, uh, went really, really well. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to debrief that. We're going to kind of We've done the film release for it, and now we're going to actually talk about it and kind of talk through that whole hunt and that whole experience of putting that uh, film together. Oh, I cannot wait for that. Yep. We'll give you our behind the scenes. Oh, wait, you don't, little I, BTS. You don't really have to wait for it because we're going to do it right, right now. now? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I just can't believe this September is going to be two years already. That, that is, is crazy. crazy. Yep. It seemed like it just happened. It does. It does indeed. But time goes fast. Yeah. So why... Uh, why did seeing it through happen? Is that for me? Yeah. Uh, I think we just kind of went into that season, um, with the intention of making a feature length film. We had wanted to explore the possibility of doing a movie night. Mm -hmm. And, uh, we knew that that was a hunt that all four of us would be able to go on. And, uh, it was a hunt that we all wanted to really like showcase. And, uh, the whole name of seeing it through really burst while we were in the mountains. Oh yeah, totally. Um, and I think once we really got going on it with some scouting trips and stuff like that, we were a little more convinced that it was a, a real tangible thing that we could accomplish. Yeah, totally. And especially once we all tagged out, you know, oh seeing gosh. it through, oh, then yeah. it all came together and yep. you know what, this is going to be an awesome documentary. Oh, we're yeah. really going to make it happen. And yeah, it was a great, I mean, seeing it through just kind of became it like came together. a little yeah. slogan that we kept saying on that whole mm -hmm. trip. 
And so that's kind of where yeah. that name eventually came from was we, I think Jeff just started like saying it. Yeah. Yeah. Got to see it through now. Yeah. Come on. I just said mm-hmm. some old timer. You'll see it through now, boys. Come on. Yeah. Yep. And it just kind of became that mantra for the season. And, and it stuck. Yeah. Anytime stuck. we, anytime we met adversity along that hunt, yeah, that was kind of our, our pick me up, mm-hmm. you know, to say, well, let's see it through now. We got to get up that hill. Yep. yep. See it through. And saw it through, we did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's dive into um, the, how we started seeing it through. It was a June weekend. Yep. And uh, we scouted our very first location on our to-do list. And Pat came in late. Mm -hmm. I was behind the ball. Yep. Uh, And then Bob, Zach, and I uh, took off and scouted a new area that we've never been. And I thought it was very promising. It looked very good back there. Oh yeah. We got into animals. Um, we saw lots of sign. Yeah. Um, and it was gorgeous. I mean, we had a lot of routes planned for if we were going to come back for that high buck hunt. Oh yeah. Um, how we could get in there, which basins to focus on. Um, it was a very successful scouting trip. Um, but there were a few red flags for that area that Mm -hmm. kind of led us into still wanting to search out other spots to scout. Totally. Um, yeah. Thank God we did because I yeah. think if we had chosen that spot, I just, that the accessibility I think was very difficult to get to oh, yeah. um, in the actual GMU that we had to hunt. Mm-hmm. We didn't see any deer. Yep. No. Yeah. So just on the border of it, it's just on the border. We did see deer and we saw a beautiful bear. Yeah. But I'm very glad that you guys, I didn't make that trip, went and checked out where the film was uh, made. Yeah, me yeah. too. And I would doubt, I would highly doubt that we would have killed four deer in yeah. the first spot we went into. Yeah. No, I don't think I don't, I'm not sure it had the capacity to do that. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, there is one thing that, that would have stopped us from even hunting that spot, but maybe we can't say it on, on air. Yeah. <laughs> it, a yeah. natural yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah exactly. A natural phenomenon. Um, Anyways, so that trip, that first trip in June, uh, like we kind of touched on, we did see, I think there was 16, 17, 18 deer on that one face. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of deer, a lot of deer. And did we confirm a buck? I forget now. Yeah. There was like a small buck in there, but nothing like crazy, but yeah, but we did see at least one buck was bedded on that face. I do believe that as well. Um, we also kind of like. We were a little limited that weekend because of yeah. some weather. Yep. Um, yeah. Nasty storm came in. Yeah. We mm-hmm. had snow. It was June 9th and yep. yeah. there was snow and high winds, uh, you know, Big from the last wind. podcast that wind freaks Jeff and myself out. Oh, yeah. How does, does it affect you, Zach? No, not really. It doesn't. It keeps me up, man. Yeah, I hear those trees sure. knocking. I'm just thinking, oh man, don't come down on me. Yeah. Pat yeah. and I are a lot more similar in that sense. We're all just lay down. And I just think that the odds of something falling on me are just so slim to none. I, I honestly wish care. I could just shut it off. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. just something that yeah. I, I just, I can't, it's something that I feel like I can't even control. And if you remember right, there were dead trees all around us. All yeah. over. Just yeah. the toothpick, you know, kind of yep. half lean trees. Oh yeah. yeah. Could creak in and fall. Oh yeah. Any it's, second. It's probably good for us as a group to have a couple people that think like that, that way. Yeah. So you and don't then, die. And then have a couple people that are just like, ah, oh, we're good with whatever. Sure. Yeah. Because you two can pick out where we're going to camp and where you feel good. And Pat and I are just like, whatever. I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Yeah. No, I totally. usually just go along with it. Yeah. yeah. It's the yeah. same thing with whatever. the G bears. I hate them. You guys really don't care. <laughs> wherever, wherever you guys want to camp, it always hey just works out fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> did you listen to that episode? Zach? I did. I just finished it the other day. Were you, were yeah. you laughing pretty hard? At that I part? was pissing my pants <laughs> laughing. We've had and people I've, commenting all week, sending yeah. us DMS of yeah. just Hey bear. Oh yeah. And, I, and I've heard that story like eight times, it but still it gets still you. makes me laugh so hard. Cause I can literally picture Bob's face. Oh God. As he's turned and Dude, just that could be hurtling. A, that could be a t-shirt or a sticker. It could, oh my, that <laughs> could be a new P and wild t-shirt. Yeah. Uh, who, Bob who, running who with wants hey bear. a Hey bear P and wild shirt. Comment or like yeah, DM just, just us. Let us know. Let us know. Send us a message. We will make that happen. We'll, we'll make it happen that's for sure. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah, that's genius. Um. Anyways, back to mule deer. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. sorry. Shit. Head down the gutter there. Hey, bear. Uh, oh, is that um, what we uh we killed mule deer? Yeah, we killed uh, four of them. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, they, they were all bucks. Yeah. He, yeah. Three. Yeah. Three. So points. that was the first scouting trip, June 9th. Yep. And then the you guys one. went. When was the next one? 
Uh, June thir- it was no, my, it was July. We went, July. It was the first we went in or June second. June thirtieth. I think we pulled out like July first. Yeah, July second. Yeah, it was the last weekend of, of June. So it into July. Went into, into July. July. Yeah. Yep, yep. But before we before we get away from the scouting, just for the listeners, if they want to go look for high country mule deer, what are some tab t- some tactics or some gear that might help them in that? Binos. And boots, Glass. Glass. binoculars, a spotting Glass. scope, spotting scope, yeah, and just uh, the best gear that you can afford, really. Yeah, yeah. whether it be Get sleeping high. systems, uh, warmth, something to keep you warm. Yeah, yeah, it depends on the person, right? 